We're in Holmes County, Ohio, one of the largest Amish communities in the entire United States. And today, we're gonna try to move in with an Amish family and see what the Amish lifestyle is all about. Now, my two friends and I don't know much about the Amish, honestly. We've heard they basically try to live like it's the olden days, and they don't embrace a lot of modern technology. But I love trying to connect with people from these more unique types of communities, and the Amish have been at the top of my list for a while. So after driving around for a bit, we pulled over when we noticed our first horse and buggy. What we really wanted to do when we came here was connect with an Amish farmer and like actually be a part of the work and their lifestyle here. It kind of seems a bit more like a tourist area, so I don't know if it's going to work, but one of the people here might be able to connect this to an Amish person who has a farm. Might be the place. You have to knock directly on the door. You need help from the back of the farm. I got two hands and two others. Let's make it work. Is that a quick question? We're basically trying to find an Amish family that would take us in for the night and let us like help out on the farm and just be a part of the world. And we're wondering if you know anybody. Probably best like if, if you go around, you know, the farm with Shag. Yeah. Because this right. wouldn't really be a farm, it's more it's touristy. More, yeah, more so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. All right. Cool. So our first stop turned out to be more of an Amish tourist center than an actual farm. Dude, that guy's huge. We are looking to get the Amish, the full Amish experience. Now in my brain, that consists of five things. Working on a farm, sharing a dinner, going to an Amish auction, riding in a horse and buggy, and spending the night at one of their houses. And first up was finding some farm work. We're looking for a farm today. We wanna to have like the, basically like this, this lady over here, she's tilling the farm right there. Is that, I think that's the word you say. We wanna be a part of that. That's what we wanna be a part of. Can I ask you a quick question? We're looking for an Amish family that would be willing to, to spend some time with us and, and connect. Probably not. Yeah? We would love to help out and like give you guys a hand with stuff. Uh, probably not. Okay. Alright, oh, cheese. Thanks. Guys. Thank you. Tough. That one hurt. That was a bad pitch. Definitely feels Amish here. He's definitely Amish. <laughs> Turn around. We're basically trying to find a, an Amish family who would be willing to take us in and let us help out on the farm and just learn about the Amish lifestyle. Pop off my head, I can't really think of anybody, but yeah. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah. What about down there? Oh yeah, this is it. Dude. We're, we're over it. Yeah. It feels so weird walking up to an Amish house. It feels like we're so, we're doing something illegal. Could we, a, could we ask you a quick question? We've been fascinated about the, the Amish. We're like, let's see if we can I make you friends. I, I mean, I'm willing to be friends, but I don't think I'm interested in doing that. Yeah? Okay. okay. So, yeah. Fair enough. That makes sense. You Any recommendations do? on how we could uh, find a family that might be open for something like this? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this is gonna be honestly easier than it has been. There's gotta be somebody here that's gonna say, that's gonna be down to have us stay yeah. over. It's just about finding that person. How are ya? Hey, how you doing? My name's Brad. Um, this is Tyler and Will from Canada and also I'm from Australia. Australia. Okay. We're trying to find a, an Amish family that would be willing to take us in. Maybe help out around the farm and just kind of live the way you would live. You can put us to work and... <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. i love to, but we really have a lot of hate to do this, this afternoon. No. I'm not sure. We're... That's it. Got yeah. a pretty tight schedule, and yeah. my husband's pretty busy, so I'm yeah. not quite sure what he'll say. Yeah. For information, maybe we can find somebody for you. Yeah, that'd be great. Like they're still pretty welcome. Yeah, yeah, they're very welcome. No, it's just you haven't gotten the yes yet. Yeah. Yeah, I like what you're doing, yeah. but not enough for me to yeah, do it. I'll exactly. get somebody else to it's, do it. A lot of it is that. It's like, that's cool, but just not with me. Mm. Is it a kid? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was looking at us though. Yeah. I mean, oh. yeah, because we were like, just drove past. We are like stalking. How's it going? Good. Not bad, not bad. Are, are you Amish by any chance? I am Amish. Awesome. We're trying to find an, an Amish family who would let us come and help them out. Just be a part of the family and, and, and help out. Will you be interested in hauling manure or? We love oh, to pick you. up shit. <laughs> <laughs> How much you charge? Oh no. Free. no, free. No, free. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hang on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to just pick up manure? Yeah, we'll do it, yeah. You're great at taking shits. Now we got you to pick them up. <laughs> he wants to talk with you. He's All a right. speaker. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello. Hey, how you doing? How about you? Doing wonderful. My name's Brad, by the way. Okay, my name is Merman. Nice meeting you. 
Well, I guess we haven't met. We're just meeting on the phone. <laughs> so Tim said that you're looking for a little work. It's a bit so, of an odd request. You've probably never gotten that before, eh? I have not. <laughs> Tim said you might need help hauling some manure. If you need us to do that, we, we can still do that as well. I think Tim just wanted us to do it, not him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be willing to talk to you for a couple hours. Okay, what awesome. time would work for you? You're welcome to come over now. Okay, okay cool. Awesome. Well, we'll see you soon, Mervin. Okay, thank you. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> so, uh, kind of wondering, which one's from Australia? That's me. <laughs> Funny That's sound. Me. Uh, you probably have kangaroo like we have deer here. Pretty much, <laughs> yes. We actually eat kangaroo. Australia's like the only country to eat their national animal. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Have so, you done much traveling yourself? Not a lot. I would struggle with city life. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quiet out here and I love it that way. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's, a, there's a, uh, a difference in the level of community that you guys have versus what we have in the city too. Community is so important when there's a tragedy. Is it a tornado, a death in the family? a fire, everybody comes together and helps each other out and help bear each other's burdens. And I think that's what that creates a closeness in the church and in the community. Mm -hmm. Some of my nieces and nephews are not Amish and right. you know, and you hear some people say, I have all these friends on Facebook. Well, here's the thing, when you have cancer or you in yeah. bed, are those gonna be your friends? Yeah. Mm. The friends are people that come and visit with you. We'd love to, you know, if you want to, if you want to get us out there, get us working. Well, I, I guess what we're going to do first is we're going to feed the birds. And then we're going to go work out in the garden a little bit. Now, I'm yeah. not going to make you work real hard. Oh, you oh, can no. make us work yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah we can do it yeah. as hard as you want. Yeah, I yeah. want you to enjoy this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, we're very excited. One of you can get that orange feeder right there. We have an extra uh, sun hat. That we could borrow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. want to wear this? You, yeah, yeah. Do you, they are definitely Amish now. Got the <laughs> sun hat on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here's my onions. There's sweet corn. This here are the strawberries. They're kind of weedy right now. This is potatoes. I plant a lot more potatoes because um, we love potatoes. Yeah. 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 Who doesn't? To do it right, you just got to kind of got to dig in there a little bit. Yeah, yeah. If you kind of go back and you give it a good push, it really digs in. Come on, Brad, a little faster. I'm trying not to cut the onions out. Now, one thing, don't show on YouTube all my weeds here. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to dig them out yet. We're just going to get rid of the weeds around here. Oh. Anything that looks like that is Light a out. flower plant. Okay. Wait, that's yeah, a plant? That's the plant. Yeah. Just that one. Just what that about one. these ones? What these ones are weeds. I think. Oh, God. We need to get a lesson in agriculture before we do this. <laughs> We're gonna water the marigolds also. I'm bringing a life to these plants right now. That's right, sunshine and water. How long will these take to kind of fully form? In about 80 days, you'll be eating fruit. Wow, it's that easy to make babies. That's correct. It was much harder with my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, outstanding. This is what you get to be around every day. Yep. And this is stuff that we take for granted. You guys, you, you find you take it for granted? Yes. Yeah? How many times do we get up in the morning and not thank the good Lord for our health? And I think that's important that we need to do that. And I think, yeah. you know, we take this. Uh, you admire this and yeah. I see it every day and I yeah. don't think about it until I talk to you guys. Yeah. And mm. it makes me think, okay, I need to appreciate this a little <laughs> bit more. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, we're gonna get some food ready. Okay. Nice. Do you want us to take our shoes off? off or anything? No, this is not a house. <laughs> this is a home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we want people to be comfortable. You are Brad. I'm Elsie. Elsie, nice to meet you. So you are from Canada, Canada, Australia. Australia. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's why he sounds a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I don't mind at all. This in the middle. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. That a little bit there. This here. Oh, thank you, you can so much. Have more meat or whatever you want. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, what was it? What was your first first thoughts when uh, yeah. Tim called you? When Tim called me and he said, "These guys want to work and we'll help you haul manure," and I thought, <laughs> "This is a joke." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably weren't expecting that call from your son. No, I was not. <laughs> and then what what makes you say yes to it? 
Well, I guess I trusted his judgment, yeah. uh, but I didn't realize that he meant he just out on the road. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Does it make you more proud of him or concerned? <laughs> <laughs> Proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks to Mervin, we ended up accomplishing both working on a farm and having dinner with an Amish family. If you haven't noticed, my buddy Tyler has tagged along for the past couple videos, and he's actually going to be joining the team from now on. Now, you guys don't know a lot about Tyler yet, but he's been through a lot in the past couple years. And after dinner, he started to share a bit of it with Mervin. There was a moment there where I was potentially never going to walk again. Yeah. And so in those moments, I realized what I had that I was not grateful for. And so the first thing I wanted to do was like, how do I get healthy? How do I start to like effectively train again and do all the things that I used to be able to do but not care as much about? Mm -hmm. I remember like at the start, like it was so hard for me to get into the gym or to, to go for that walk because I was like in such a dark place mm -hmm. in my head. My wife would, you know, like, come on, like we're gonna go out there, we're gonna do it. And you're gonna be happy you did it after you finish. And it was that little push. And then after I got out there, I'd start to feel better. And the stress, you know, that I had before wasn't as bad. Tyler ended up making a full recovery, but he was left with over half a million dollars in hospital bills that he's still currently battling his insurance with. And when he shared this, it sparked something in Mervyn's memory. Okay, there's gonna be benefit option. This is for a guy that got injured in an accident and they'll have a big option there. We really wanted to go to an to an auction. What time okay. is there? Let's look at it. And here it is. So they have all kinds of furniture. They, they're going to sell a five-piece bedroom set, a shaker-style dining table with four leaves and six organ chairs, 42 by 62 rustic cherry dining table, saddle bar stools, rustic hickory bookcases. This stuff is all donated. Oh, oh wow. so people donate and then they per purchase for the, the donations. Yeah. And it's cool. It's, it's for somebody. That, what happened to him? He was involved in an accident. David was in an accident with a lengthy hospital stay, two weeks in ICU, wow, yeah. off work a couple of months. Medical expenses are high. Any help would be greatly appreciated. When you talk about your hospital bill, yeah, you'll be able to see what could happen in a community where yeah. people yeah. help each other bear each other's burdens. Yeah. yeah. I think I'll be super inspired by that. Because yeah, I didn't I didn't have that and it's it's kinda of weighed on me. It, yeah, it was a dark moments. You're in a hospital and all they care about is what insurance you got before they even go, what's wrong with you? Yeah. They wanna know how are we getting paid? And then you have debt collectors saying, Well, hey, we want our money. And that and it's like I just want to be able to walk again. I just yeah. want to be able to live my life. Would, do you think that we, we'd be fine? Like they wouldn't mind us not being Amish? Yeah, they wouldn't mind. Are you going to go? Uh, I probably won't go to this one. No? Can we pull your leg a little bit, get you to come with us? <laughs> you can show us what to do. I'll go with you. Yeah! <laughs> with our third goal all of a sudden within reach, the next morning we all went to pick up Mervin. Real good, how about you? Oh, we're doing great. <laughs> All right. I uh, see you got a new hat. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, gotta, I gotta look the part. <laughs> and then I just hold this up, eh? Yeah, yes, right. until oh. you bought it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't drop that thing down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's like a rocking chair. Uh, how good is that? <laughs> okay, there's some cool stuff here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, pickleball. We're going for pickleball. That's what we're going for. Thanks everybody for coming out. David has made a full recovery. The doctors have cleared him and his scans show that his internal injuries are healed. Sometimes we might be on the other end of that too, and I'm sure it's a humbling experience, but uh, we are very grateful for the support of our awesome community. So thanks everybody for, for what you did donate, and we'll get on our way uh, with the auction. I'm actually nervous. <laughs> He's making a rap. <laughs> I can't understand what the price is at. Okay, he's thinking somebody should go two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Now he's asking for a hundred. Now he's only asking for twenty-five. Now fifty. So hundred and a quarter, or even on the left-hand side. There we go. Watching the auction was fun, but it was time for us to step up and make a bid. Hey, we got the pickleball set. We're winning those pickleball battles. Yeah, yeah. I'm winning the pickleball battles, that's fine. And before we knew it, we found ourselves in a bidding war. 40. 45. Yeah. 40. 45. 45. 
Steve right here. Steve, 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 right here. In total, the auction raised over $250,000, which is enough to not only cover David's bills, but also put some money towards somebody else in the community as well. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm glad you had a lot of fun. No, yeah. we did. Yeah. You're glad you said yes? <laughs> yes, I am. I had a blast. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times us men don't want to admit we're lost and we don't want to ask for directions, <laughs> but sometimes asking the question can lead us to some awesome experiences. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pleasure meeting you, yeah. yeah. Pleasure, it's been fun. You have a good trip back home. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. As much fun as we were having with Mervyn, we still had two big tasks left to go. Number one, getting a ride in a horse and buggy, and number two, finding an Amish person that would be willing to let us crash at their place. But the fact that it was already 4 p.m. and our flights were booked for tomorrow morning, our time was running out. So we headed to a local Amish restaurant, hoping to find somebody there who could help us with our mission. Our goal is to basically find an Amish family who would be willing to let us come in and like, and like stay with them and like just live a day in their life. They're welcome just in here, like almost, let's see if I can get this picture. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we missed it. We weren't we weren't recording at the time, but she came back and she brought us a number for Jerry. So we're gonna call him now and see. I guess if we can say, hey, yeah, he wants to hey. That's crazy. I don't know why this was. Hi, is this Jerry? It is. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Well, it depends what you want. <laughs> Fair enough. Basically, we went into Boyd's asking about uh, if anybody knew potentially any Amish that would be willing to like uh, let us crash at their house tonight. And one of the girls there said that you were the guy that we should talk to. Well, yeah, in that situation, I probably would. Really? So. Okay. Well, hey, you tell me what works for you. Would you want us to come by your place? Do you want to meet somewhere? You can come by our place. All right, we'll see you soon. Right. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! They're really good. Oh wow! That's, That's the mant. It's called the mant, and use a lighter to light it. Wow! It made it silk. That is fascinating. Jerry let us feed some of his horses. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he showed us a couple magic tricks. Four, five. Well, you counted too slow. No! <laughs> no! 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 no. <laughs> And then we showed him what Tinder is. Oh my goodness. She's like, oh, she could be cute. So then you like, and then you can look at different photos and it tells you a little bit about who they are. What's your cat's name? Oh, <laughs> the interest, she likes reading. She likes trivia, comedy. She likes to fish. So like this girl's, she's fishing. Oh, fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we showed up at the perfect time as Jerry and his wife, Lorene were just about to sit down for dinner and they had a mean peach cobbler waiting for us. And after spending some time to get to know the two over dinner, they invited us to join them for their evening Christian hymns. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. There was a long time ago. By and by we shall meet. I kid you not, we sang hymns for over an hour. And you know what? It was actually pretty enjoyable. Not only did they welcome us into their home and cook us dinner, but they shared with us the most important part of their life, which is their faith. And it was cool to see the joy and the passion that they had for it. From dust our God, created man. Created man. He is our God. He is our God. The great I am. The great I am. Choir is great tonight. Hey, <laughs> some there. Love you guys. And, yes. you. you know, if I never see you again, come on up on that uh, golden shore with all the lights and the happiness and the joyful singing and the angels around. Mm. I want to see you guys come walking up to me and say, Hey, remember when we were your house? <laughs> <laughs> this is, of course, our storage, too, but it's got a good bed. Okay. One bed in here, then across the hallway. Another bed in there. 
Oh, very cool. Guys, we did it. We're staying at an Amish person's house. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> well, we didn't manage to check off everything on our list, as apparently a horse and buggy takes a lot longer to set up than we thought, and we had a flight to catch. But that's okay, because we ended up making some great new friends along the way. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. We got him. And it gives us another reason to come back and visit. Adios, amigos. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> I know I'll yeah. see you again. It's not by, it's see you next time. Okay. Is that how that saying goes? Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I like yeah. that. Yeah.